For years, they have dominated at countless Comic Cons. Now they are committed to bringing the experience back in a whole new way. There's only one place to get your comics and collectibles and chat live with the two greatest showmen in modern comics. So kick back, bust out your keyboard, and get ready to call it as you see it. You're watching Kicking It with Honor and Kevin, the live shopping show. What's up, y'all? What up? We got what? Episode 69, Kevin? Seis, nueve, six, nine. Yeah, six, nine, or the nine times 60 and nine time episode. Guys, six, welcome to nine to times. 69 times. That's how many times we've done this. Just on our own network. We've got a slew of other shows off of CBS then as well. So we've done over 100 shows by this point. So I just wanted to thank you. We want to thank you guys for all of your support thus far. We appreciate and love you all. And tonight we got some excellent stuff in the works for you. So kick back, bust out your keyboard, and call it as you see it. Call it as you see it, folks. Welcome. You got Audrey and Kevin here. And we're going to kick it, guys. So I uh, appreciate you showing up. All right, Kevin, you start off, man. I'm kicking it over to you, brother. Yeah, man. Rock and roll. Let's do it. And uh, first thing I'm going to do when I start the show off here is, where did they go? I just had them. There they are, right here. David, I was thinking the same thing of Bill and Ted. <laughs> 69, dude. So, David. Well, make sure you tell everybody about what happens when they spend $69 with us tonight, Kevin. Why don't you tell everybody about shutting up? <laughs> I'll be right back. No, so folks, uh, we got a lot of cool things coming along, but I want to stop for a second, and I want to recognize a friend of mine and customer who sent me a care package with comic books in it, as well as a n awesome Georgia Tech shirt. Georgia Tech shirt. Let's go ahead and take that off. What? Let's get it. 404, baby. 404. So this is a shout out to my man, David Moore. And uh, I'm going to take a moment of silence because of what you wrote to me. And I'm going to say rest in peace, Mac Miller. You are awesome in the music industry and just uh, on your show, everything. You're awesome. And uh, that's cool, David, that you knew him and you were part of his life. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your package. It, it meant so much to me. Um, it, it really did. And I'm actually going to keep those comments. I, I know you were trying to spread the love, but I'm going to keep them. All right. So right now. I'm going to kick it off. Thank you, David Moore. Trish, what's up? How's everybody doing tonight? I'm going to start off with some Daredevil. And this set of Daredevil right here is a set of four. And this is 71, 72, 73, and 74 of the Decalogue. Check this out. So this one's I Am Your God. This one is Honor Your Mother and Father. Thou shall not lie. Thou shall not steal. Check these out. I'm doing all four of these books right here, right now, for five bucks. Daredevil, issues 71 through 74. Call it as you see it. No doubt, David. You the man, for real. And your friend was a freaking icon. All right, we're going to bust it back to Super Pro. Super Pro, Super Pro. Super you got, Pro, you Super, got Pro. Super Pro. Super Pro number two, dog. Damn. Jesse didn't get them all. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He did not. <laughs> we got one set left, and it's going for $500, folks. That's right. So this Super Pro right here. You know what, Andre? What do you think I should sell this for? This is number two. It's in terrific condition. Do it for. We'll do it for three bucks. Boom! Three dollars, folks. You're getting Super Pro number two for three dollars. Check that out. Call it as you see it. All right. Let's mix it up a little bit. Okay. So this is a cool series. I got to put it in order here. So we got do, 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 do. We don't want this one. We want this one. All right, and six. That's what we want. And seven. 
All right, so I've got Marvel now, the Avengers Annual. Corey's in town. Check this out, Marvel's Avengers, the Annual. This is number one. All right, you got a $3, $3 is a deal from Chauncey. This is uh, one of our, um, I want to say. $3, done on Super Pro. Awesome. Let me go ahead and record that. Chauncey, do me a favor. Uh, do us a favor. Uh, see that email at the ticker bottom up there, hkcollectibles123 at gmail.com. Please send us an email with your information so that we can properly invoice you. Thank you so much. I'm not sure what platform you're using, but this is really cool because you're one of the first people who are buying outside of Facebook. This is really cool. That's right. Thank you so much. Appreciate that very much. Super Pro number two, going to a good home. Go ahead and set that aside. Corey, it's great to see you, my friend. Chauncey, absolutely. So I'm going to kick it back to what I was talking about a second ago, and that was Avengers. And uh, this is number one, number two, number three, number four. All these are in great shape. Number five, number six, and number seven. Folks, this is some Jonathan Hickman stuff, okay? So these are the Avengers. And I got issues one through seven. And I'm doing issues one through seven for just eight bucks. Eight dollars. Ooh, Ooh, that's one than a dollar twenty-five per book. Very guys. good. How are you, sweetie? Check this out. Eight bucks for all these Avengers. Nine dimes. Nine dimes. Nine dimes. I'm going to keep it with the theme of Avengers because I have some more of that run, but it's later on. So that goes through seven. This is 25, 26, 27, and 28. This is also Hickman. These books are going for five bucks for the set. That's 28. That one's awesome. Five dollars for all of them. That's less than two dollars a book. Call it as you see it, folks. All right, Andre, that's four for me, baby. Let's go ahead and kick it back. Let's get this started. Let's get that wheel spinning. Let's get that wheel Let's spinning. That wheel. All right, guys, a couple things I want to point out tonight. First off, first and foremost, check it out. I got all new keys here, and I got new stuff up here, too. So if you guys are interested in any of these titles right here, the condition of any of them or the pricing, let me know. A couple things. This is our 69th episode. So Kevin and I want to give you guys a little bit of, you know, say thanks to you guys. Anybody who spends $69 with us, your tab from the previous show will roll over. You get a free comic. Marvin Juarez just picked up those Spider-Man comics that I was uh, flashing in my promo for this today's episode. So Thank you, Marvin. Not only does he get a turn on the wheel, he also gets an opportunity to get a free comic. So uh, Kevin's going to pick out what that free comic is. In the meantime, I'm doing some Hulk, baby. I'm kicking this off with some old school Hulk. I have Hulk number 275, number 276, number 277, 278, 279, and 380. We are going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Six Hulk books. This is 12 bucks. That's $2 a comic. That's a $2 Hulk run right there. All of these books are going to run you $3 and up. Oh, wait. Did I say $3 and up? I'm sorry. I meant $5 and up. $3? What do you need $5 for? <laughs> All right. Next up, I'm going to put together a really fun what if bundle for you guys. I have what if the beast and the thing continue to mutate? I have what if Spider Man House of M, which is a one shot. I have what if Daredevil versus Electra, the advocate. Once she loved him, now he is her most deadly enemy. I have what if the Punisher's family hadn't been killed? I have what if Wolverine had married Mariko. I have what if Conan the Barbarian were stranded in the 20th century. I have what if starring the Astonishing X-Men. 
I have a What If Secret Invasion crossover. This is also a one shot. And I have What If X Men The Wedding Album. Um, also, I have What If The Infinity Thanos number one. So here's what I'm going to do on this whole set here. You buy any of these books individually, it's going to be five bucks per book. You do them all together as a bundle right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You do them as a bundle right now. I'll knock them down, uh, the price down to three bucks a pop, and we'd be looking at thirty dollars for the set here. Thirty dollars for all of these what if books. If that ain't a deal, then you might as well steal the opportunity to hear about this next book that I got going over here. <laughs> we got, <clears throat> we got, we got this. I have the Hulk Destruction. I'm going to do this as a dollar run. This is issue one, two, three, three. and four. This is a four issue run. You get the whole arc here. You don't got to hunt it down or anything. It's written by Peter David. This isn't based off the game. It's just its own Hulk story, and it's contained here. I don't know what it's about, but um, it's Startling Secrets of Hulk's Most Abominable Foe uh, Revealed at Last. So it looks like it's a cool abomination story. And I'm doing it for 4 bucks, $4, guys. $4, folks. These deals are crazy. I got one more, and then I'm kicking it back to my man, Kevin. I'll kick you in the face. I'll kick you in the... Shut up. Ooh, good one. Yeah, it is a good one. You know what else is good? The logo you made for Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good logo. Yeah, but yeah, we can't. We'll have to show that at some point. We'll have to air it. We'll have to air it. We we'll have to air out the dirty laundry. <laughs> sorry, Kurt. Sorry, Kurt. I'm not not sorry. sorry, Kurt. You're a jerk. <laughs> not sorry. <laughs> All right, well, guys, um, this last book I'm going to show you before I kick it back to Kevin is Atlas. Introducing Atlas. This is a first issue right here. Looks like Jack Kirby on the cover here. This is going to go for just five bucks today. Five dollars today for Atlas number one. And that is four for me, Kevin. I'm kicking it back to you. Kick it back to me, my friend. I'm kicking it back to you. This right here is Ghost Rider, uh, Blaze, Spirit of Vengeance. And this is number 12 and number 16. These are specific issues. And uh, it's just an awesome story. Gotta love Ghost Rider. This book right here alone goes for $5, and this one goes for 3 So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do both of them for 5 bucks. Check that out. Both of them for 5 bucks. Number 12 and 15, these were put together for a specific reason. Uh, what else we got? We also have Marvel Universe, number two, B through C. Check this out. This one's going for $4. Is that a man I can? <laughs> What's up, Tracy? It's a man I can't. It's a man's field. I also have this cool for all the, uh, you know, all the uh, war buffs and people that like nostalgic stuff. Blackhawk. This was put on by DC Comics. This is uh, this is pretty cool right here. This is book one. Okay. This is book three. I had book two, but it's sold. Somebody wanted to split up the set for some reason. I'm not sure. So these books, actually, they can go for up to 20 bucks, but I'm going to do all of them for both of these for just $8 tonight. $8. More than 50%. Nine things. Nine things. Nine things. All right. I also got something. Tell me something good. Yeah. Ow, ow. Tell me that you love me. Yeah. Shut up, Henri. I'm going to bust these out again. You'd be using 
Better Language. This is our 69th episode. 69th. Well, for the 69th episode, I'm busting out the first printing of the Torment series. So this is Spider-Man number one. This is Spider-Man number two. Spider-Man number three. Number four. Five. And back to one. <laughs> All right, guys. So these books are in pretty good shape. They aren't just reader copies. They're in decent shape. And normally this book alone right here is going for fifteen to thirty dollars. I'm gonna do the whole set for twenty-five bucks. Twenty-five dollars. You get the Spider-Man Torment series. This is the first printing. Say no second printing, boo Shido. <laughs> uh, that was a good oh, you know, that was a good use of the word Bushido. Gosh darn right it is. And you know what? I'm going to kick it back to you because I just did four, and I'm waiting for people to get that wheel spinning. We got that wheel. All right. Excellent. Kevin, I'm, I'm, gonna back down, I'm, folks. I'm ready to take it. Sha! 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 We did a bomb bomb. Sha! No Bushido. That's right. No Bushido tonight. Okay. <clears throat> so what else I got here? I will show you guys right now what else I got here. No, you won't. You won't do it. Um, you don't think I can do it? You think I'm scared? I think you're scared. I ain't scared. To show you guys, great Avengers books. I have Avengers 218. Look at that cover. I have Avengers 221. I have Avengers 222. All right. 225. 228. Old copies, folks. 229. Old copies, old as old can be. <laughs> this is all. This is all Grand's age, folks. <laughs> Grand's age. This is from my Grand Pair's age. All right. Anyway, do you have any great coupon? Let's not talk about inflation. Let's talk about emancipation. Okay. Here's what we're doing with this uh, set here. I'm going to do these as three as a three dollar bundle set. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six books for 18 bucks. Look at that. $3 Avengers books. Call that as you see it. Those are very, very clean copies. Very, very clean. Awesome Avengers books. Very, 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 very clean. Next up, I have Adam Strange, The Return of Adam Strange. This is done by Andy Diggle and Pascal Ferry. I have the whole run here. You don't have to hunt anything down. This is an eight issue series. All the books are in outstanding condition. There's eight. So there's eight issues in this whole series. I'm going to do this as a $2 run. 16 bucks. These books are all yours for just $16. Normally we sell it as a $3 run, so it'd be $24. Knocking $8 off the price right there. Next up, I got a really, really cool arc here for you guys. I have Red Skull Incarnate. This is like a retelling of the Red Skull's origin. It's a five issue series, and we have all five parts. You can get all five parts right now. Normally we put these at $5 a pop, so that would be $25. I'll do the whole set tonight for just 10 bucks. That's $2 per book, $2 per book. For Red Skull Incarnate. Last but not least, before I kick it back to Kevin, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to jump on a fantastic, fantastic deal starting the Fantastic Four. We have issues 500, 501, 502. You're getting runs here. 74, sorry, 503, 504, 505, 506. 507, 508, 509, and 510. This entire run of books is going to run you exactly 10 bucks. 10 bucks, you get all these books. That's a dollar a book for these Fantastic Four books. And let me tell you something. What Mark Wade and Mike Waringo did on Fantastic Four forever changed the series. It brought people back in ways that they hadn't been involved before. So I'm going to have to say this right now. 
we got a fantastic four movie on the route. Um, and uh, I have a feeling that they're going to take a lot from what was done here because it's more modern and it's really well, it's just good, classic, awesome FF goodness. Um, Mark Wade really understands this stuff. And a lot of his work, we've seen it kind of like already make its way into, into the cinematic universes of both Marvel and DC. Uh, definitely some of the stuff that Wade did on uh, Superman Birthright, right? Birthright, Birthright. I'm hunting wabbits here. Um, really kind of like, um, if you looked at uh, Super, if you watched the, was it Man of Tomorrow? Was that the, Man of Steel, Man of Steel. Uh, Man of Steel, a lot of the, some of the core concepts of that movie were uh, taken from Birthright, which was a story that Mark Wade had written. So um, I think a lot of Mark Wade's stuff is really fantastic and would make for a great cinematic appeal. So I'm telling you guys, that is a dollar fantastic four run right there. Normally we would sell those books for about $3 a pop. You'd be looking at $30. Put that up on eBay. That's exactly what we get. Kevin, I'm kicking it back to you. Go ahead, kick it back to me, because I got someone in the house right now. I got Jim Starlin in the house. Check this out. Jim Starlin, this is with Steve Olive. This is amazing. This is Gill Games. This is Numero Dos. This is Volume 1. Hey, hey Lincoln! Volume 2. <laughs> volume 3. And Volume 4. This is Jim Starlin stuff. This is awesome, awesome stuff. I'm doing all of these books for a buck a piece. Four dollars for all four. Call it as you see it. This is a great run. They're practically graphic novels because they aren't saddle stitched. They are bound books. And folks, this is Jim Starlin and Steve Olive. Four books, four dollars. Let's get that wheel built up. Let's call it as we see it. I also got Catwoman, Year Later. This is number 54, Year year Later. One year later, sorry. Or This is number 54, and this one's going for $2. There we go. Now, they're not as early as what Honor is. They're not as early as what Honor is pushing, but I got Fantastic Four, number 337. And 338. Now these are five dollar books a piece. They really are. But and they're in amazing condition. Literally, they're in gradable condition. I mean, these aren't books you get graded, but they are in that good of condition. So I'm gonna do both these books here for six dollars. Call it as you see it, folks. Call it as you see it. Call it. Cow me. <laughs> Call me. Call me. Call me. Uh, Edge of the Venomverse, number five. These books are getting pretty popular. This one's going for $3. Edge of the Venomverse, number five. Take a look inside there. It's a really cool comic. Deadpool. Always getting his butt whipped, but in the end... He dies enough to win. <laughs> <laughs> such All right. So I just did four books. I'm going to kick it back to Henri, and we're going to keep this boo Shido going. Uh, we are doing 10 for 10, Corey. Are you calling it 10 for 10? All the time, every show. Every show. Call it as you see it. Kevin will pick out 10 books for you. In the meantime, I got some really great treats for you. I have Bad Company, Goodbye Cruel World. This is put out by DC Comics through the 2000 AD line. Um, and it says, Crueler Than Cruel. Danny Franks knew that signing up for war against the cruel would be hard. They kill without compassion, taking prisoners for torture and experimentation. Their armies are apparently infinite. Their weapons are horrifying. But Danny had no idea that the real horrors would be his comrades. Now, Danny Franks is a reluctant member of Bad Company, an elite force of vicious killers who make the cruel look like pacifists. Led by the brutal Kano, a secretive victim of the cruel's experiments, Bad Company have blazed a trail of carnage and destruction wherever they've gone. 
but with Danny in tow, the company are headed for places even they couldn't believe. This hard-hitting and challenging future war tale features early writing by Peter Milligan, uh, who's done Human Target, Screamer, and with art by Brett Owens, um, who worked on Johnny Nemo. Jim McCarthy of Bix Barton and Steve Dillon from Preacher. So this is some pretty wild stuff here. It's all black and white. Really beautiful trade. Really, really great shape. This is a new book we just got in. Now, normally the price tag on this is about $18. I'm just going to do it for nine bucks right now. Nine bucks and this is yours. Bad company, goodbye, cruel world. We're going to take 50% off that cover price right there. That's how we're going to do things. I have Batman, Death, and the Maidens. Batman, Death, and the Maidens. And uh, so this is the story for this. Raz al Ghul is dying. He's lived hundreds of years, but he's not immortal. The eco-terrorist known in his days, uh, the eco-terrorist knows his days are numbered. His life work far from complete. Time and again, the Dark Knight has thwarted him, uh, thwarted him, sorry. But now in his final days, a deadlier, far more secret war is revealed. One that has raged for decades. That the woman who stands against him once shared his life, centuries ago uh, only makes the pain deeper and more personal. Um, a dying Ra's al Ghul has no choice but to beg Batman, his greatest nemesis, for help. In exchange, he offers the Dark Knight the chance of a lifetime, the ability to speak with his dead parents. But that ability comes with a price, and what Batman's parents have to say to him will profoundly affect both the man and the hero. So it's kind of interesting. Normally a twenty dollars. Right now we're going to do it for ten. What's up, Russell Allen? Charles Ball? What's up? What's up, Charles, guys? How y'all doing? So, Charles, said, how much on the reread? Normally a twenty dollars book. Knock it down to ten. Charles said, how much on the reread? Number one. Reread. On the what? R I R I is what he wrote. What did you pitch? That was R I R I. What did you pitch? That's a number one. Uh, I have Atlas. I have um. Oh, Riri, the Ironheart. Charles, that's going to go for 20 bucks, man. That's going to go for 20 bucks. We actually have two copies of it in stock. My man got the keen eye. Yeah, he does have a keen eye. So these are both very clean. Here are my edition copies of the book. These Riri's are going for 20 bucks a pop. Wow. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, she's gonna get her own. She's gonna get her own show soon. Yep, yep. They're doing something. With, they're definitely doing something with that character. Apparently, her first appearance is worth like way more money now. But that's the first appearance of her as Ironheart in her own. He also wants to know how much on the Raw UF four. Uh, ultimate all Ultimate Fallout four. The Raw on this is gonna go for uh, eight hundred dollars today, my friend. I know it's I know it's a hefty price, but. Uh, we believe that this is a very high grade book. Um, I would say it's, uh, I would say if I just gave it a look, it's definitely in the near mint uh, uh, zone right there. So we're gonna do that today for $800. Um, that book is as perfect as you can get, like close to perfect as you can get. It is extremely nice book. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's Kevin and I, we're, we're, we're happy to hold on to this. We just showcase it. But one of these days, man, I hope that book puts my kids through college. That would be great. Um, Green Lake, oh, wow. Will World, and the other copy could put Kevin's kid through college. That's right. <laughs> All right. Will World from Green Lantern. Uh, this is done by J.M. DeMattis and Seth Fisher. This looks really cool. Pretty wild what's going on here. Um, Hal Jordan has the power, but is he a hero? He doesn't know where he came from or where he's going or even who he is. The only thing Hal Jordan does know is the difference between right and wrong. And in the twisted world called the Land of Odd, Hal's sense of justice is the only thing that cannot be shaken. Now in the surreal realm of angels and dragons, monsters and fairies, Hal must find the mystery, mysterious entity who may hold the key to his presence in the Land of Odd while trying to discover the hero within himself. This is written by J.M. DeMatteis, who uh, edited Marks for me. 
Um, he's a phenomenal writer. He's done so much stuff throughout the years. <laughs> Russell um, Allen. Seth Fisher. This is just really fantastic stuff. It's a great um, Green Lantern story. I'm only a $25 book, and it's going you guys. I'm going to knock it down to 20 bucks. take 20% off for you. How's that sound? 20% off the cover price of that bad boy. I got one more book, and then I'm kicking it back to my man, Kevin. The last book I'm going to show you guys is Batman Broken City. This is a great, great uh, story here by Brian Azzarello and Eduardo Rizzo. Um, this basically picks up right after Jim Lee and Jeff Loeb's um, hush run, and it totally changes the pace of Batman. And I think a lot of people missed out on how great this was. But basically, you got the 100 Bullets team telling a Batman story. Can't go wrong with that. Um, normally, this is a $15 book. This is a $15 book normally. We'll knock it down to $10 for you. So 10 bucks for Batman Broken City. Call it as you see it. We got you covered. Kevin, I'm taking it back to you. Take it back Russell, to what's me. up, man? Welcome to the show. I got some stuff to say. Number one, Cora, you did a 10 for $10 pull. And I went ahead and pulled some books for you. So check this out. You got a really cool set here. You got Plum, number two, one, two, three, four, five. And this is a special issue. I threw in this set because it was a set and I, did, I felt wrong breaking them up. So I also got Punisher 16, the Punisher 17. Uh, you got the X-Men ask, what if Phoenix had not died? Number 27, Punk X, Punk X, Punk X, and Quantum and Woody. Number one, you did a great pull. That was a very smart choice to do that right now. So those I pulled are amazing. I went ahead and set them aside for you, Cora, in your spot because you have a special spot. And I'm going to get on with the show. So you said, Henri, earlier that Marvin went ahead and spent all that money. So he gets a spin and he gets a free comic, right? Yes. I found one for him. I think I found the perfect one for him. Corey's happy with her pick. Ooh, you're throwing a Marvels in for him too? That's a great. Yes. yes. I'm going to throw the Marvels in with Mar uh, Marvin's package right there. Thank you so much, Kevin. No and, problem. Uh, David Moore, Quantum and Woody is great. I agree 100%. Quantum and Woody is a fan. It is. It is. Funny concept, but it's It's great. Um, so I also have the Fury of Firestorm versus Nuclear Man versus Firehawk, number 17. This is a, a comic from the uh, late 70s. And it's in pretty good shape. It, it's kind of a reader's copy, but at the same time, it's in really good shape. And you get that classic artwork with it. You gotta love it. This one's going for just three dollars. Call it as you see it. Put that up there. All right, back from the Dizzed, y'all. Superman, the adventures of what? Number eleven. The man of steel fights for his life. This is a really cool one. This is The Funeral is Over. And uh, you can get some money for this book. I'm doing it for five bucks today. Call it as you see it. So weird. That's like such a staple from our childhood. It is. That, like, every time I pick through a bin and I see that green, I'm just like, ah, I'll just get it. <laughs> oh, for sure. I'll just. You have no it. idea how many times I buy lots and I find that, that those books in there too. Yeah, they're very, they're very popular. It's almost like as if they belong. They're in like everybody's collection. Thought I had another one of these. One sec. Thought I had another one of these. Yeah. See, I always pick it for some reason. But this is a cool series right here. This is Dark Horse presents one hundred, and this is number one and four of five. This is number one. And most of the time, this book is going for $2. I'm going to do it for one. And this is number four. I'm doing this for $1 as well. So you get both these books for just two bucks. Dark Horse 100. Check it out. 
All right, Henry, that's four books for me. I'm going to kick it back to you. I'm going to go get a glass of water, and I'll be right back. Oh, look at Kevin. He's going to get a glass of water. You're not supposed to drink water during uh, during show hours, Kevin. You're supposed to... Um... I'm already gone. <laughs> yeah, we, Kevin and I were at a convention once, and uh, there was this uh, neighbor we had, and she like wouldn't let any of the people who were helping her sit throughout the entire show. Like They were just not allowed to sit. And I was like, wow. Like, I can't believe, like, they looked so miserable just standing for, like, hours on end without even being able to sit down. And, like, they had to sit down on the floor and everything. So sad. But uh, <laughs> Kevin and I were making fun of her afterwards, like, to ourselves. And we are like, there will be no sitting at the Comic-Con! Acton! <laughs> Anywho, we have Star Wars number six right here. This is the Luke Skywalker variant. And here he is standing straight in Acton position. And he's like, buy this book. It's so good, y'all. Yeah? It's a good book. I gave him a Hitler. Look at that. Luke Skywalker's got a Hitler. All right. Um, anywho, Luke Skywalker is not Hitler. He's the anti-Hitler. And we got this going for $15. Please don't get offended with me making any Hitler jokes because I'm Jewish and I can get away with it even though it's not appropriate. This book's going for $15. I'm going to shut my mouth and keep moving along. And telling you guys about Batman Catwoman. Let's change that subject. Let's get away from race and history and Hitler. And we got Batman Catwoman number one. This is the blank cover, the blank sketch cover. And we are going to do this tonight for the low, low price of 10 bucks. 10 bucks, and this is yours. It's bad for yours. There's some modern comics for you right there. Next up, I have Secret Invasion number one. Number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, and eight. So we have the whole run here. And I'm going to do this tonight for 40 bucks. 40 bucks on this run here. Call it as you see it. That's $5 per book. Five bucks per book, and you get them all for 40 bucks. And Secret Invasion um, is most likely going to be the biggest, uh, the next big tie-in in the Marvel movie, just so you guys are in the know. Hey, Joshua said Star Wars, Luke, calling it as I see it. Josh is calling Star Wars? Yep. Biggity, bam. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate you, brother. <clears throat> Josh is the man. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Star Wars. All right. Next up, I have Batman and the Outsiders. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. I'm going to do these for three bucks a pop. Normally, they would be $12. I'll do the whole set for 10 If you buy the whole set, it's 10 bucks. If you buy each one, it's three bucks a pop. Break up my set. It's three dollars a pop. You buy the whole thing. It's ten bucks. All right, Kevin, you ready? Always. Always. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight Samuel. Three. Hot and pepper and shenanigans. So we got Batman Incorporated number one. Two and three, right here. We're gonna do all three books right now, all three books for just nine dollars, nine times, nine times, nine bucks. You get all these Batman books, Batman Incorporated. Call it as you see it, Kevin. I'm kicking it back to you. Kick it back to me, man. I got something cool. This is a DC Vertigo book. It's called Animal Man, and it's number seventy-seven. I love this cover. This cover. Rocks. <laughs> Russell's like, where will be no sitting? Where is no? I was telling him about that awesome con neighbor we had, the one who wouldn't let any of her like assistants sit down. Yes, I was telling him the whole thing. <laughs> oh my god, she was like, no sitting. There's no sitting during work. I am <laughs> gotta knit all of this velvet cotton together to make a face so I can wear it like a person. <laughs> what is this velvet? 
there's like Buffalo Bill. She's like Beefalo Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> this book's going for two dollars. <laughs> You're so dumb. Oh my god, it's so dumb. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Roaring Ricks, rare bits, rare bit fiends. Check this out. I must remember it's just a dream. Number one, number two, number three, and number four, and number five. Check this out. This one's awesome. Cobra Kai, do or die. <laughs> so, we're not going to talk about Sean Crease because John Crease, who? <laughs> Check this out. I'm doing all four of these books for just five bucks. Five dollars for all four. Dollar twenty-five a book, folks. Dollar twenty-five a book. Let's get it. Let's we get got it. a full Same. house right now. Full house right now. Thank you guys. And Josh, I'm still hot for your sparrow hawk. Huh? 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 I actually probably have some sparrow hawk. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to present America's number one hero. And every single time this guy shows up at the bar, <laughs> he's Fight Man. man. <laughs> this is Fight Man. Everyone hates Fight Man. This is a Marvel Comics, a one shot special. And this is a number one. Hey, did you find those American Carnages yet? It yeah. says his one shot is all he needs. No, I can't find them. This one, sorry, this one's going for three dollars. Josh, I'll see what I can do about finding you some American Carnage. We will get a hold of some. Hit me up with what you need exactly, and I'll see what I can do to find it for you. All right, this is a cool series. These are all graphic novels, but they are a series, and it's really unique, very different. This is all by, done by Ted McKeever. Uh, Ted McKeever's, uh, he, he thinks outside the box. I mean, what can I say? Uh, he's very influential, but at the same time, he's got his own genre. This is called Plastic Forks. Check this out. Put them in order. So this is book one. This is book two. This is book uh, three. Really cool stuff. Four and five. Straight up plastic fork. What's really awesome about this is just. Again, I say outside the box, but like, um, it's like, what if the world needed to be recycled? And like, the big cause of it was the plastic fork. You know, uh, check these out, man. I got all these books, these five books right here going for 10 bucks. $10. Call it as you see it, folks. Plastic forks. I got it right here, right now. Fresh, hot off the donut press. I'm in the wrong bin. I'm in the wrong bin. There we go. That's what I want. Look all this. All right, Superman for all seasons. I'm going to go for three books right here. These are all graphic novels. This one is Superman for all seasons. $5. This one is Superman Speeding Bullets. This is Jim J M D D J M D Mateus. Yeah. And Eduardo Barreto. Five dollars. And Superman Distant Fire. This is Howard Chankin and uh, Kevin Nolan, Gil Kane. And five dollars, folks. Five dollars a piece for these. Check it out. Come pick out all your graphic novels here. This is the home of the five dollar graphic novel. We have the wheel heel here. It needs to spin. Let's get it spinning. Let's build something up. Actually, Josh has a spin at the wheel. That Star Wars was 15 bucks. 
Honor, did you send me all these books, these ASMs? I think I did. Number 302 through 318. Show them off, baby. Wow. ASM. Folks, 302. I'm just going to do a couple at a time because there's so many here. Josh wants to spin up the wheel when you get a chance. Spin that wheel. Get it. Oh, you won a free car. All right, which one you want? You got two options. Two options. You got the Volga, or you get the... <laughs> you got the 1982 Chevrolet Chevette, or you get the 84 Vega. <laughs> Volga. It actually, is Volga. This one here is a Captain America car. It's actually interactive. The shield moves. Uh, this one here is an X-Men. and the Foxy exactly, from getting stuck in traffic. It's actually a Chevy Nova. <laughs> wagon. I'm getting stuck in traffic. Pick, and I will provide. You let me know, Frank. You got some explaining to do, okay? So ASM 302. Boom, chaos in Kansas. No one will stop me from having my revenge. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this one's going for $4. Josh, Josh called the Captain America. Captain America always, he said. Captain America, of course. They oh, that means he likes Captain America. All right, Josh got that wheel spinning. So we're going to do $4 on 302, 303 on the waterfront. We're going to do $4 on that, 304. This is after the Fox, $4 on that. And the California scheme and baby 305. We're gonna do four dollars on that. So, folks, I'm doing the amazing Spider-Man 302, 303, 304, and 305 for 16 dollars. But if you act now, I'll knock two dollars off of it and do it just for 12. Josh, if you're on an idiot, Kurt's in the house. Josh, if you're a big red skull collector, hang on. I want to show you that red skull incarnate book that we have. Hang on, I'm just going to show you what he looks like in the summertime. Is that true? Is that nine for you? Can you kick it back to me? Yes, I can kick it back to you. All right, Josh, we'll check it out. I so just did four, on. and Andre already kicked it back, so that's okay. Wait, was that four or no? I don't know, idiot. I was talking, and you kicked it back already. All right, well, no one wants to hear you talk. We want to tell Josh <laughs> about the Red Skull Incarnate. Hey, Andre, Kurt's in the house. I know. Um, just so you guys know, if your name is Kurt Imhoff, there is a tax that will be applied to every purchase you make. So uh, just be ready, okay? If your name is Kurt Imhoff, you have to pay the tax. Especially for the red score, number one. Number two, look at him. He is standing in such fine posture. He is like, I need the Tesseract. <laughs> It is over like, there. I need to tax. I need to tax cut Imhoff if he chooses to buy these books, and then he's writing a newspaper article about like I ripped off a cut Imhoff. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, ah! <laughs> All right. So if your name is not Kurt Imhoff, these books are just ten bucks for the set. If your name is Kurt Imhoff, however, it is ten dollars and one cent. Just letting you guys know, it's a big, it's a big difference. It's a steep climb than tax. It's called the Boron Idiot Tax. But uh, we got Kurt, you covered. And Kurt, he was in the military. He fought the Red Skull. Yeah, he, he fought the Red Skull. He, he <laughs> gave him an uppercut and put him in the chokehold. And then he's like, Red Skull, you get into this chamber and you do not move. He looked at Red Skull and was like, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, Red Skull. Don't do that. <laughs> We're so funny. <laughs> All right. We got Static Shock right here, issues eight and nine. We got Frank Miller on the cover here for issue nine or issue eight. Sorry. I'm going to do both these books together as a pair. 
for just six dollars. Six dollars for this pair of books. Yeah, the books for six dollars. Next up, I got one set here of The Advocator Presents. These are stories that are put together by uh, independent comic book creators. Um, I showcased these books last week. I'm going to do all three. This is the winter edition, the fall edition, and the summer edition. And this uh, features short stories by various creators in the independent comics world. This stuff, think of this like Dark Horse Presents. It's really fantastic. The whole run is going for 20 bucks. <laughs> what do you say? Oh, he's laughing. It's the Dura Tax. I'm looking for some Grab Magadri. Hey, there's going to be a heavy tax for that. Hey, you're going to have to pay uh, the. Uh, <laughs> hey, Kurt, you know what I call him sometimes? I call him Taekwondo. <laughs> hey, you know what I call you? I call you shut up! <laughs> we got uh, these for sale, folks. <laughs> I have Ultimate Oregons. Oregons here. Oregons number one, two. I'm this sorry. is by Brian Michael Bendis and Rich Geis. Three, four, and five. We're going to do this as a dollar run right here. You can get all five issues of Ultimate Origins for just five bucks. Five bucks for this run. Call it as you see it. Last book here, and then I'm kicking it back to my main man, Kevin. I have a really cool sci-fi series here called The Red Wing. Ooh. Wasn't that a video game? No. You sure? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yes. All right. This is The Red Wing by Jonathan Hickman and uh, Nick Batara. Um, this is like sci-fi. It's like psychological sci-fi. It's pretty cool. It's like ships. And things are blowing up. It's a pretty cool series. Um, I'm going to do the uh, the whole run here. This is a four issue series. These books are in excellent condition, and we're going to do the whole run here. You guys don't got to hunt or do anything. We got it all for you right here. I'm going to do the whole run for just six bucks. Six dollars for the Red Wing run. Red Wing gives you wings. <laughs> I am right, I'm kicking it back to Kevin. Right, kick it back to me, man. That's not a problem. Uh, so, folks, I got great deals. I got a set of graphic novels right here, and we're going to get back to Batman. Right here or right here? Or here. Aqui. Aqui. Here. Or. Here. Here. For those of you who aren't Russian, um, everyone that is Russian, that means here. 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 <laughs> Check this out. So, I got Batman Man Bat. This is Jamie Delano and John Bolton, folks. That's number one. Number two. You got number three? Number three? You got number three? Check this out, folks. These books are amazing. They normally retail at $12 a pop, or $5 a pop, sorry, $12 for the set. They would go for $5.95. So uh, check this out. I'm going to do all three of these for $10 right now. Batman, Man Bat, one, two, and three for 10 bucks. Oh, yeah. Can you feel it? Huh? Huh? $10 for Man Bat, folks. I'm close to, I'm close to having a rack built there, Henri. I am, too. I am, too. I am, too, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that I am not great at. This is the Task Master. And he completes the Schneike out of a task. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he just you just give him a task and he just whoops that task. Yeah, he beats that task fast. <laughs> oh, whoop that ass. This one's going for $2. He's like, listen here, you task. 
I ain't got no time for you, Bushido. He I'm just went up to a task. And he's like, would you just look at that? Would you look at that? All right. Speaking of Captain America, the man that completes tasks. Number three, baby. And this book right here is going for three dollars. Captain America number three. Hey, look, what you see on the cover is kind of like what I want to do to Kurt right now. <laughs> Making fun of me like a stupid idiot. <laughs> I want to be the guy in the air. I mean, I want to be the guy at the fish. Yeah. <laughs> David Moore. Some would say he's even the master of tasks. <laughs> Not Kurt. Kurt's the master of no tasking. <laughs> Kurt's the master of not fixing drywall <laughs> that he threw me into. He's the master of beating Doom Eternal. <laughs> well, I just beat Doom. So I'm tough. so good at video games. Look at me. I'm just going to hang it over my friend. I don't even need to buy the video game. I can just beat it at his expense. <laughs> <laughs> also, Kurt, can we have the video game back? No! <laughs> Fantastic Four, number 358. This is a triple-sized 30th anniversary. <laughs> triple-sized 30th anniversary. This book is going for just $8 today. Triple-sized 30th anniversary. Super thick book. It's bound. It's a single issue, but it's bound. It's not saddle-stitched. Did you say I'm Lincoln? <laughs> Did you say I'm Lincoln? <laughs> All right, folks. So that's four. I'm going to kick it back to Henri. When you come back to me, I'm going to have the whole rack torn down, and we're going to go from there. All right? Excellent. Excellent. All right. Guys, same deal for me. Um, after I showcase the next four books and I kick it back to Kevin, everything is getting undressed. So first set I got up here is Spawn. Number 39, number 40, and number 41. These are going to go for just three bucks, guys. These are fantastic books. We got some Greg Capolo and uh, uh, Todd McFarland teaming up here. This is really fantastic stuff. You got Spawn in his uh, costume that he uh, revamps in issue 25. And we're going to do this set here for three bucks a pop. We're looking at $9 total. Nine dollars, nine times, nine times. And next up, I'm going to bust out some Star Wars for you. I have Star Wars Empire's End, number one and number two. You get the, the run right here. These are both, uh, this is both books right here. I'm going to do this run here for exactly $15, 15 bucks on this run. This is from the Dark Horse. Uh, stuff so it is pretty hot right now. Fifteen bucks for that run. Call it in if you like. Seven dollars and fifty cents a book. Normally we'd do ten on those, and you'd be looking at a much pricier bundle here. Next up, this is one of our big acquisitions. I'm really proud to show this off. And I'll do this last. You guys ready for this? I have Secret Wars number one, number two, number three. Number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number 10, 11, and 12. Now let's talk about Secret Wars for a second. There's some key things that happen throughout this series. Issue seven and eight, these are your key books right here. Issue eight is where we see Spider-Man get his uh, symbiote costume for the first time. This is more of a mid-grade book. It's not in the best shape. Issue seven is not either. So here's what we're gonna do on this whole run here. I'm gonna do this whole entire run right now for $305. We just sold a sign set for 500 not too long ago. So we're gonna do this set for 300. I'll call it as you see it. I know it's pricey, but it's Secret Wars. These are some key books here and uh, I think they belong in your collection. All right, next up I have the Avengers number 14. This is the death of Baron Zemo. We're going to do this for just 50 bucks today, $50 on this. It's in really, really clean. It's in, it's in really good shape. This is a near mint book, really early Avengers. 
Can you imagine that just 10 issues before this, you had the reintroduction of Captain America into the Avengers? It's pretty wild. So this book came out right around that same time. So it's going for 50 bucks. And like I said, it's a very, very clean copy. And that is a full rack for me. I'm going to kick it back to Kevin. All this stuff that you saw right here right now is going to be gone by the time I come back. So, Kevin, I'm kicking it back to you. Go ahead. Kick it back to me. I'm going to bust out some Steve Rogers. And this is Super Soldier number one, the heroic age. And uh, I got it right here, right now going for four dollars core what do you mean by jthm can you let me know and any star wars thrawn uh i can check later for you josh um yeah for sure uh core let me know what J jthm is exactly sorry kevin keep going i had no problem so i also have old school the sisters of sin this is captain america this is 295 and it's in really, really good shape. I'm doing it for four dollars. Number two ninety-five. Call it as you see it. Dave is looking for Avengers two two one for three dollars. You hear me, Henri? Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can. Yeah, I can do it. I got him. I got you, David. Okay. Then I got Captain America. This is number four. It's tied to those bombs. Number five. Number six. And number seven. And I'm doing all these for just $2 a piece. So I'm doing two, four, six, eight dollars for all four. Eight dollars. Nine times. Call it as you see it. back up there i'm gonna keep going with captain america because i also have the shattered heroes series and that's let me put this up that doesn't go with that shattered hero series and this is seven eight nine and these are going for for nine dollars for the three so this is seven, eight, nine. This is its own run, okay? So this is Shattered Heroes. This is going for $9. But I'm going to continue on with that because I also have 10 and 11 that aren't part of the Shattered Heroes, but it's part of the same run, same um, print, same series. Cora Monet. So Captain America number 10 and 11, these are going for just $4. Normally I send, uh, I sell them for $3 a piece, so it's $2 off. This is Brute Baker, Davis, Farmer, and Martine. Call it as you see it, folks. Now that's actually five. Henri, are you ready? I'm ready, man. You're ready? So I'm going to kick it back to Henri, and he's going to share some more game about some comics. I got an naked rack here, guys. Shut up, Kevin. Let me talk. I'm just kidding. Uh, so, Cora. Yeah. Get him on a Honda. <laughs> Such a moron. Okay, uh, Cora. Um, I will uh, hit up a comic shop this week because I'm in search of another series called Luke McBain. So, when I'm at that comic shop. <laughs> <laughs> you have now given me a reason to make a, an actual run there. Um, I will see what I can do about finding some Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. I also know you're looking for some Death Notes, so I am on the job. I just haven't um, – over the last two or three weeks, we've just been buying out shops and buying out lots. So we've been dealing directly with um, you know people who are just looking to sell in bulk. So I haven't really made my way into any comic shops. So I will definitely head out to one either Wednesday or Thursday. And that's just for any of you guys that are uh, out there hunting for stuff. So I have Thanos Rising, number one, number two, and number three. I'm going to do all three of these books right now for just nine bucks, nine dollars, nine times. Those are four dollar books, by the way, guys. Um, I have Phantom Star Killer, number one. This is the CBSN variant. This is going very for special book. This is our last copy of it in stock, by the way. We, we sold out of all of them. This is a really popular series. It's getting a lot of traction right now. It's called 15 bucks. It's a creator-owned goodness. 
Another creator-owned book that is fantastic, and we got two copies of the first issue, so you guys can both have one. It's Broken Gargoyles number one. This is fan. This is just a fantastic series. This is a phenomenal series. Um, Broken Gar Gargoyles is uh, written by Bob Sally, um, and it's an actual term that refers to World War One vets who basically came back from the front lines and were disfigured. And um, you know, it's kind of like. The Avengers meets a group of, um, you know, uh, rejects because these people came back to society and they were so deformed and so traumatized by what they saw in the battlefield that they were rejected from society. So now they're trying to get um, their uh, their upcoming their upcomings for how they're being treated. So it's a really cool story. It's got a lot of heroism to it. Um, I'm gonna do uh, each book for just. Uh, six dollars today so six bucks actually i'll do it for five i'll do each copy for five bucks get broken gargoyles one for just five dollars call it as you see it last book and then i am kicking it back to kevin i have the first appearance of monica rambeau pretty big deal i have I've, i talked about this earlier today i showed this book earlier i'm showing it again this is a key book right here. This is going to go up in value. I'm telling you, tomorrow it's going to be worth uh, at least $300 or more. Today, I am doing it for $125. $125. Call it as you see it. An Amazing Spider-Man, the number 16 annual first appearance of Monica Rambeau. That's a near mint condition copy of that book. Kevin, I'm kicking it back to you. Kick it back to me because, Cora, you want me to take you back to childhood. Girl, I'm getting ready to take you straight there because this is my childhood. And it starts off with this. <laughs> oh, they were on the Super Bowl yesterday. <laughs> Shut up, Henri. Beavis. Is it, is it Luke McBain? No, it's Beavis and Butthead number one. That's done by Rick Parker. That's right. This is first issues are cool. Beavis the pothead, scraping the jaw, scraping the jaw. You sound like Hank Hill. You shut your mouth. Nobody's talking to you, Henri. But we're talking to Cora about Beavis and Butthead bringing you back. This is number one. I'm doing it. How much should we do this for, Henri? Five dollars. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, I'll take you up on that. I'll do it for five bucks. Beavis and Butthead number one. First issues are cool. Scraping the jaw, y'all. Bringing you back. 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 Way back. Beavis and Butthead sold was my favorite characters back in the day. Pull my finger. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. I love Beavis and Butthead. I got you, Cora. I got you. Thank you so much. Damn, Cora, I got another one. Hang on. I'll be right back, Kevin. You keep going. I had something else for Cora. Five dollars. Excellent. You keep going, Henri. I'm gonna keep going because I also have an old book, and this is number 54 of The Defenders. And this book right here is going for just four dollars. Call it as you see it. All right. This is another cool one. Uh, it's important, actually. This is a king size annual of the Avengers. This is uh, Arsenal, first appearance for Arsenal, number nine. This one's going for five bucks. It's in pretty damn good, sh darn good shape. Sorry about that. Five bucks. Avengers, number nine. Nine times. Okay, I got another cool Avengers, and the reason I love this is because one of my favorite characters is on the front. She's actually my third favorite character, and her name is She-Hulk, and this is Earth's Mightiest Heroes number 488, seven, PSR 73 and 488. This is the, the search for She-Hulk. Check that out. This one's going for $5. Call it as you see it. 
All right, Andre, that's four for me. So I'm going to kick it back to you, buddy. Awesome. All right. Check it out, Cora. I got you. Check this out. You ready? Shh. I'm going to take you all the way back to your childhood right now. Flashback. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I have Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy, number one. Very number nice. Two, and number four. This is going to be a $2 run. Six bucks. You get these three bucks right here. Six dollars for Ren and Stimpy. One, two, and four. I'm missing three, unfortunately. But let's see what I can do about hunting it down for you. Shouldn't be a hard book to find. Or maybe it is. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into it. Uh, next up, I have Grit number one. This is from Scout Comics. Scout Comics, Grit number one. This is a phenomenal series. Very violent, awesome stuff. Um, Old Ren and Stimpy. All right, I got her on Ren and Stimpy. So Grit number one is going to go for just 10 bucks today. Totally violent book. Awesome stuff from Scout. Very hard book to find. Grit number one. And Cora, you are wheel spinning capable. Ren and Stimpy. What is it, Stimpy? Oh, Ren. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. You know what would make me happy is if you shut up. Let me tell everybody about these uh, Daredevil books right here that I'm about to pull out. David just said Grit is sold out everywhere. What's up? David just said Grit sold out everywhere. It did sell out everywhere. That's why we only got one copy of it going for 10 bucks. Daredevil, 72. And the good luck finding grip, by the way. 73. 74. And, oh, wait, this was 74. Oops. And this is 75. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, nine times. Okay, so we got uh, this run right here. Uh, this is going to go for just eight bucks today. Two dollar run of Daredevil books, and I think I have seventy one somewhere. Maybe it's there. If I don't, let me check the long boxes. I'm pretty sure I got. It. Yep, it's right here. So you got Daredevil seventy one. I'll tell you what. I'll do all five bucks. That's a full run of Daredevil books for just ten bucks. That's a full story arc. Decalogue part one through five. It's good stuff. Minor key book right here. Because of its cool cover, Punisher number 10. We got Punisher and Daredevil on the color cover here. Cover, color. Uh, this is going to go for just $25 today. $25 today for the Punisher number 10. Last book, before I kick it back to Kevin, is Power Pack. I have Power Pack. This is going to get a – this is going to come – and get a TV show or a movie soon, guys. Power pack number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. We are going to do this whole run here. Five books for ten bucks. Two dollar power pack books. I got one more I want to show you guys because I just came across it. Amazing Spider-Man number two ninety nine. Oh, holy shnikes. Second official appearance of Venom. He shows up at the end of this bad boy. What's that? Fucking freaking $12 comic? Hey, nice job dropping uh, the F-bomb on our show, Kevin. On our 69th nice. episode, you dropped the F-bomb. Not very classy, Kevin. I apologize. It's okay. Don't worry about it. But here's something that is classy. This book right here. I'm not. Actually, this is actually uh, in the condition that it's in, which I would say is very good. Um, I would um, do this at uh, $50 today, 50 bucks today for Amazing Spider-Man number 299 A near mint condition copy of this is going for 150 and up, so just so you guys know. All right. Kevin, I'm kicking it back to you. Go ahead. Kick it back to me, man. I'm still here. I don't know how that happened. We got pushed up a little bit. So Cora wants a spin. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Spin that wheel. Cora, you just want a free key issue. Ooh, that's awesome. 
key issue book. Let me record that for you real quick. Cora just want a free, free key issue. All right, Cora, give me just a second. I'll, I'll go through my key issues and I'll pick out one for you. It'll be nice, I promise. But uh, until then, I'm going to go ahead and keep keep pitching. So I got the Avengers number 262 when Titans tussle. And this is a uh, Hercules versus Submariner. Pretty sure Submariner's going to lose. Because technically, Hercules never lost. That's why he's Hercules, kind of, you know? So, yeah, about that. Anyway, so we're going to do this book right here for two bucks. Two dollars. Call it. How do you see it, folks? All right. I'm going to take it back to my girl and my dude. This is PSR 75490 of the Avengers. This is the Incredible Hulk and She-Hulk. This is the search for She-Hulk part four. This one's going for four bucks. Four dollars. Call it as you see it. And because I am on the Avengers jock today, we're going to keep going. And we're at number 300. This is a 64-page spectacular presenting the new Titans. This is the introduction to the new Titans, folks. This is a key issue. Not the one I'm giving Cora, but it is a key issue. So, presenting the new Titans. This is really cool. This is number 300. This one's going for $10. Call it as you see it. This is a great book. It's in really good shape. All right. Now, last, before I kick it back to Henri, uh, I got two here. This one is more of a graphic novel, and this is uh, Dark Allegiances by Howard Chinkin, and this is Batman. Really awesome book. Check this out. Not only is Batman sitting on his Gotham throne, check this out. But he's like flying, actually flying. Pretty cool. So you got great artwork in here. Um, let's see. You got Howard Chaikin. You got um, Jameson on colors. Bob Kane has created this. Legend. This one's going for five bucks. Five dollars, folks. I'm going to put that back in its board and bag. Throw that in there and put it back up here. So I got another one, but I am going to keep it to four so I can keep it even with Henri and make sure we don't get ahead of each other. And I'm going to keep it going. While Henri is pitching, I'm going to look for that key issue for Cora, and you're going to see what you got. So, folks, keep that wheel spinning because we got crazy things happening, and you could earn some insane key issue comic books. So, All right. You guys are like little gerbils keeping that wheel spinning. Spin. Keep running, my little Egyptians. All right, I have Star Wars Splinter of the Mind's Eye. This is another Dark Horse run right here. This is part one, part two, part three, and part four. We're going to do this entire run here for just $40. $40 bucks for this Star Wars run. It's $10 per Star Wars book. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that for 20 bucks, not 40 I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that to you guys. My bad. I priced those out wrong. They're going to be $5 Star Wars books. You get a full run, 5 bucks a pop. We're looking at $20 for Splinter of the Mind's Eye. My bad on that. Next up, I have uh, Giant Size Defenders number three. This is the first appearance of Korvac, um, who is... Uh, Set to be the next villain in the second Captain Marvel movie, I believe. 
Uh, this is going to go for uh, $50 today. $50 today for Giant Size Defenders number three. I have Spawn 300. Spawn 300, this is the McFarland variant, black and white cover. This is going to go for just 15 bucks today. $15 today and Spawn 300. And then I have the Max number one. The Max number one is going to go for just 15 bucks right now. 15 bucks. That four? That was four. Kevin, that was four. Okay. Uh, I did not quite pick out a key key issue for her yet, but I'll go ahead and pitch again. Okay. Do you want me to take it for a little bit? Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. I'll keep going. Why be that way? I'm going to pitch some vampire books to you guys. I have Vampire Tales number volume three. Vampire Tales number three. Uh, or volume three. This is going to go for uh, normally twenty one ninety nine is the price on this. No, sorry, twenty dollars is the price on this normally. I'm going to do it for uh, just ten bucks today, and it's got uh, the first appearance of Blade in there, I believe. Yeah, first appearance of Blade is in here. This is pretty cool, and it's all black and white, ink wash, really nice stuff. Solid stuff, only ten bucks. Totally worth it. To go with that, I have Daymen. This is a uh, Boom Studios book about the vampires who help out, or sorry, the humans that help out vampires. When vampires sleep, these guys do their dirty work. I have the Daymen trade going for just 10 bucks today. That's cover price. It's a brand new book. Brian Stelfreeze on art, the legendary Brian Stelfreeze, trained by my mentor, David Anthony Kraft. Next up, I have Wolverine and Nick Fury, The Scorpio Connection. This is done by uh, Archie Goodwin and Howard Chaikin. A really good-looking book here. One of those one-shot graphic novels put out by Marvel in the 80s. This is going to go for... I'll do this for 10 bucks today. Ten got bucks. You ready, Kevin? Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> I picked out a good one, and you just spoke about it, actually. Awesome. You ready? Yeah, absolutely. So you just spoke about a good book, and you came out with a, a very expensive Spawn 300 variant. Um, that, that book actually is going for like 50 bucks, but uh, this book right here is going for 15 and is also a Spider-Man a Spawn 300 variant, and it is black and white. The Cora, this is what you won. That's awesome. Spawn 300. You guys don't win Spawn 300s on anybody else's show. Sorry. You don't. Most people don't even do free key issue giveaways. We do. You know why? Because you're kicking it with Henri and Kevin. Oh, you're very welcome, sweetie. It's my pleasure. You're going to really enjoy this book. And I'll tell you, since the day this book was printed, it has not been out of this board and bag. I've never read it. Never looked at it, never opened it. I bought it brand new when it came out. So congratulations, Cora. Spawn 300. She's racking it up. She's doing so good. Uh, and to continue on with what I was talking about earlier, these books I was doing. Let's see, what is that? Six nine seven. So I'm gonna do this book right here. This is the Adventures of Superman. Um Number 431. Check that book out. This one's going for $4. Yes, David. Yes, Peter. It is. It is. We do keys, baby. Check this out. This one's going. What did I say? $4? Yeah, I think so. Four bucks. Said you're an idiot. You're going to do some great reading, Corey. You got a lot of things on the way. All right. So another Superman, 697. This is Bizarro's World. This one's going for $2. Check this out. Guys, are kicking it with us. So we just want you to enjoy yourselves, be entertained, and just love life. Love life. Let's keep this industry going. I want to do this. I don't want to pound nails anymore, but I do because 
You're an idiot. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. So, Team Titan Outsiders. This is the Secret Files of Origins 2005. This one's going for five bucks. It's an amazing shape. Five dollars. Follow it as you see it. But we can't forget Marvin won that Marvels. What else we got? We got. Ooh, Henri. You're going to have to price this one for me. Okay. 333, baby. That's going to go for 10 bucks. 333. ASM 333. $10, folks. Call it as you see it. All right. You want me to do some more or you want me to kick it back? No, go ahead, man. You can keep going. All right. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do a couple more. Real quick. Uh, where was I? Over here. Okay. Over I'm going to keep, keep it with the ASM model. And I'm going to do this right here. This is going to be Spider Man number 306 through 310. This is really, this is uh, Humbug's back. And there's a crisis on campus. We also got this. From Chicago comes the chameleon. From Shot Town. The Amazing Spider-Man 308. Who kidnapped Mary Jane? This is a key issue right here. 309. To save his wife, Spider-Man must get through sticks and stones. Number 310. First, the Spidey must confront Shrike Force. And last, Peter Parker goes back to college. So he goes and gets his learn on. So, folks, these are all reader copies, but guess what? They're not easy to find. Are they, Henri? No, they're not. No, they're not. For the price that I know you're about to sell them at. Uh, I'm going to go a little higher than that, to be honest. So I'm actually going to go one, two, three, four, five. I'm actually going to do all these books for $25. That's a good price. That's where I was thinking. Those are fifteen dollar books all day, folks. A piece. Charlie McFarlane stuff. Yep. A piece. This is all. Um, this is all when McFarlane was pretty much just starting out. Mark on Spider Man and stuff. You know this again. Three hundred six, three hundred seven, three hundred eight, three hundred nine, and three ten. Folks, I'm doing them all for $25. And if you pick them up now, you get to spin that wheel. You might be able to save on them. Who knows? So ASM, let's go. Get it. I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to kick it back to Henri. And uh, I'm going to do this for $5. This is Hawkeye number one. Five bucks. Hawkeye number one. $5. Call it see it. All right, folks, I'm going to kick it back to Henry. I just did six books. I'm going to let him talk about a few more books as well, and then we're going to go ahead and get you spinning that wheel. So let's do it. All right. Excellent. Uh, let's see here. What do I have? What do I have? I have the 1998 X-Men and Incredible Hulk annual. They fight Thanos here. This is pretty cool. One for just five bucks. $5 annual. Let's bust out some trades for you guys. I have um, Thor, the Black Galaxy Saga. Brand new trade right here. Really awesome stuff. Um, normally a $20 book. I will do this right now for just $10. $10 bucks on this Thor book. So this Thor graphic novel. It's really good stuff, guys. Next, I have Thor, Lord of Asgard. Got a lot of Thor. Thor, Lord of Asgard. Um, this is done by Dan Jurgens. And check out the back. It's really awesome. Uh, normally a $20 book. Once again, $10 trade right here. And let's see, I'm going to do two more trades here. I'm going to do Batman and Son by Grant Morrison and Andy Kubert. 
Boom. And uh, normally a $15 book. I'll do it today for $10. $10 for Batman and Son, Grant Morrison's run with Andy Kubert. Introducing Damian Wayne. I have Spider-Man 55, the second printing. I'm going to do this for just 10 bucks today. 10 bucks today for Spider-Man 55. Mmm. Mmm. Tell me something good. Uh, last but not least, before I kick it back to Kevin, I have this Conan the Barbarian Giant Size Marble Treasury Edition number four. This is going to go for just 15 bucks today. $15 on this bad boy. Tell me that you like it. Kevin, I'm kicking it back to you. Tell me about Spidey, yeah. But I'm not going to. What I'm going to tell you about is Night of the Owls, the new 52, number nine. Batman and Robin. This one's going for $2, folks. This is number nine. Nine times. Look at Robin. Robin got some samurai swords. Like he went and talked to Ra's al Ghul and got like a training class. He didn't get nothing. He's just Robin, chilling. He's Robin. Um, this one's really cool. This is one of Henri's favorite. Who's characters. getting grabbed? This is one of Henri's favorite characters. Uh, this is the dragon, Savage Dragon. This is a number one, but this is blood and guts. Savage Dragon is my favorite book. I love that character so much. Please. Yes, he me. does. He goes to sleep thinking about him all the time. I his... love Savage Dragon. How much <laughs> is that book going for? What 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 is? <laughs> what did um, Ben Stiller say in that one movie? I always see him in my night movies. I don't know what movie that's from. Happy Jack. Well, I gotta just say this, Kevin. A toll is a toll. A toll is a toll. And a roll is a roll. And if we don't get no rolls, we don't get no rolls. And you don't get no rolls. So I got that. I also got Team America number 10, Evil Knievel edition. $4. Call it as you see it, folks. David, are you calling that? Or are you just mentioning that it's a good book? Book's great. He's mentioning it's a good book. Tropic Thunder all day. My man, Mr. Trevino. Yeah, I had 14 sleeps before I did something else. I got to watch Tropic Thunder. I never you, seen it. You haven't seen Tropic Thunder. You I have not seen it. Tropic Thunder, and I know I missed out. That That's that's the movie I got to see. So funny. You won't even, like, seriously, honestly, for the first 10 minutes of that movie, I didn't even realize it was Robert Downey Jr. playing a black man. <laughs> really? I yeah, had no was very convincing in that. And I, I had no idea. I was like, motherfucker, that made you freak your ass, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> uh, so, Spider Man Loves Mary Jane. This is number five. This one's going for $4. No worries, David. I kind of had a feeling you were joking. I am going to watch Tropic Thunder. Need to. So, from the pages of Kevin Smith's Green Hornet comes Red Hornet. <laughs> hey, no, yeah, it comes Fuchsia Hornet or Cyan Hornet. No, it comes the number one issue of Cato. Check so this out. Kato. Yeah, this one's going for three dollars. Call it as you see it. Call it as you see it. Base. I want to do base. All right, folks. So I got this book has gone up forty dollars since I got it. I'm going to do it for thirty-five right now. I've sold one for twenty. I've actually sold one not on the show, but on eBay for sixty-five bucks. And I got one on its way to CGC, but this is my last raw copy. And then a Strange Academy, number one. 
Strange Academy number one. You know what? I'm going to do this 40 bucks today. Because it's going up. It's going up, 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 up. I'm telling you. All right, folks. That's that's another full rack for me. And uh, I'm going to finish out by doing this rack. And we're going to go back to Henri. And you guys are going to keep calling as you see it. Because we got that wheel that needs to spin. It needs to spin. And we need to spin that wheel. All right. So I'm going to kick it back to Henri. Let's go. Oh yeah, Men in Tights is great. I love Men in Tights, but I, I do want to see that too. I'm not, I'm not, uh, typically speaking, I'm not the biggest uh, Ben Stiller fan, but you know, sometimes it kind of wears on me. Dude, he I, had such a such a dream team on there. It's all uh, great. I, it, it looks it looks hilarious. I mean, you got uh, what's his face, uh, Jack you Robert, Aaron, Robert Downey Jr., Tom Cruise. Yeah, I got to see this. You I will not stop, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Come on. What he did in that movie was hilarious. I didn't see it. I got to see it. Wearing a padded muscle suit, too. <laughs> really? I got to yeah. see it. I got to see it. All right. <laughs> we'll be quoting that soon. All right, guys. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I had a creator come on Virtual Signings with Henri, which, by the way, I can't, let the news out. I can't let the news out just yet, but... Um, we have a very special episode of Virtual Signings with Henri on Friday coming up. A very special creator, and I will let you guys know as soon as it happens this week. Tomorrow we got another episode as well. But in the meantime, I have five copies left of Foot Fist Frankenstein. This is a fantastic book by my man, Tom Kelly, um, who came out for virtual signing. His book sold out so well that we ordered more. Um, these books are all signed by him. And Foot Fist Frankenstein is basically a martial arts book frankenstein um as like a shaolin monk and going to get revenge and you know like fighting and doing all kinds of cool stuff it's really a good book if you like sin city if you like revenge stories if you like martial arts stuff this is totally up your alley it's beautiful presentation really great book it's going for just 20 bucks we have five copies of it in stock so just call it as you see it i got it for you we'll put it aside it is totally worth having in your collection. I have the Avengers Britain's Greatest, number 13. This is going to go for just $25 today. $25 today. This is the Britain's Greatest, number 13 of the Avengers. I have <laughs> We from Georgia. <laughs> I have the Marvel Illustrated Swimsuit Issue in mint condition. This features a really sexy She-Hulk on the cover. We're going to do this today for $60. $60 on this bad boy. How much? Last but not least, I'm going to showcase something that I've showed earlier. I have Venom Lethal Protector 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, the cool thing about these books here is that they're all signed by um, Mark Bagley and David Michelini. The only ones that aren't signed are issues 3 and 6. I'm going to do this whole run today for $250. If you are interested and you have a serious offer you want me to entertain, just let me know and we'll talk business. All right, Kevin, I'm kicking it back to you. Absolutely. Kick it on back to me. I got more books. I got some sitting here ready. And I'm going to, I'm going to bust out. This is to all my Trekkies out there, okay? So my Trekkies, we got Star Wars people. We got Marvel people. But we also got our Trekkies out there. And those are some of my people as well. I'm a big Did you fan. say I blinking? <laughs> yes. Number the next generation, number thirty-two, trial by fire. Number thirty-three, the Enterprise crew in a quandrumire, quag quagmire. Oh, and in a quagmire. Here, quagmire. I didn't even know quagmire was an actual word. You are a quagmire. You're a quagmire. You know you are. You're that. You know that guy is. That's that's the Star Trek Bill Murray. <laughs> so shut up, Henry. There's Patrick Stewart as a Klingon. I'm doing these two books right here for four dollars for the pair. 
No, we do not have Big Trouble in Little China. I would love to see Big Trouble in Little China because that movie was bought. I may have come across some, but I just I don't know where it is. And we'll, well, we'll, we'll, through it, we'll find it for you. So I'm going to keep it with my truckies. This is the next generation. This is Tipton, Woodward, and Kershaw. Check this out. This is awesome. The next generation mirror broken. Number four. Number six. Four. Number Bring it back. I'm doing these four books for ten dollars. Four. These four books for ten dollars, folks. Call it as you see it. We only have 15 minutes left. That wheel needs to start turning. Let's do it. Star Trek. Four. 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 <laughs> All right. I got my man Frank Miller, Sin City. Uh, this is Helen Back, Sin City Love Story. This one's going for two bucks. And then I have these bad boys, bad boy right here. This one's really cool. Uh, not many people have this. It's in decent shape. This is the Green Hornet, number one. Five bucks. The Green Hornet, number one. All right, folks. Well, wait, guys. That's four for me. I'm going to kick it back to Henri. He's got a few things as well. He's going to keep it going. He's still building racks. Let's do this. Look at that rack I built. Do you see how built it is? Look how, look at my look at my rack, Kevin. I don't want to. Look at my rack. Look at it. Would you just look at that? You see how built it is? No. That's because it's not built. All right. What do I got here next for you guys? I got Batman 676 and 677. As a pair, of these two books together are going to run you the low, low price of just five bucks. Five bucks for Detective Comics 676 and 677. You got a Gene Paul Valley um, Batman there. I have X Factor number 10 going for just five bucks. This is the Marvel Milestone cover. Five dollars, folks. That's a ten dollar book. I have Ninja Turtles number ninety five. This is the first appearance of Janica, the first female Ninja Turtle. This is going to go for one hundred and fifty dollars today. Good luck finding that book. I went all over the place looking for that book. Yes, you did. We had we had to actually get that one from eBay. <laughs> all right, we got Tales of Suspense featuring Captain America and Iron Man. This is the first appearance of Modoc. This is a mid-grade copy of the book. It's going to go for $150 today, $150. Actually, we'll do that. Well, if you're interested, let me know. We'll talk. I have Incredible Hulk number 324, minor key. Well, actually, this is a key book. This is where um, uh, Bruce Banner becomes Joe Fixit for the first time, Return of the Grayskin Goliath. Um, this one is going to go for just $20 today. 20 bucks. And then I have Star Wars Tales of the Jedi Dark Lords of the Sith, part one, part two, three, four, five, and six. I will do all of this together for just 30 bucks. $30, had, folks. I had them at 60 before. Now I'm going to knock it down. I was doing them at 10, before, 10 a pop before. Now I'm going to do them at 5 a pop. And I'm going to only do it like this right now. After that, these books are going up on eBay. Call it as you see it. Absolutely All right. incredible. All right, Kevin, kicking it back to you. Kick it back to me. So, folks, we're in the last 15, 20 minutes of our show. 15 minutes, Kevin. We're going to keep kicking it. The Legacy of Superman, number one. Seven dollars. This is a great shape. It's better than all the ones I've seen on eBay going between five and ten. 
I'm doing this one for eight dollars. Call it as you see it. All right, my JLAers, JLA, Justice League. Let's do this. This is the Infinity Crisis is here. Number 119, A League of No More. 120. 121. 122. And 123. Folks, JLA. Five books, ten bucks. Ten dollars for all five JLA books. Call it as you see it, folks. I'm right here. I'm waiting. I got my jacket on pretty soon. Right before I close out, I might put my GT shirt on. All right, this one's pretty cool. This is a Heavy Hitters. Uh, it's called The Trouble with Girls. The Trouble with Girls. This is number two and number three. I've sold these before. I've sold them for $15 for one, two, and three. I'm going to do two and three for just eight bucks. Okay, call it as you see it. All right, I'm going to do one more, and then we'll kick it back to Ani. These are pretty cool. Batman Jazz. What you know about that, Henry? I know. I'm not hip to it. It's number one. It's number two. They don't know what the jazz is all about. Folks, these aren't easy books to find. I'm doing it for $5 for the pair. Kids are into the rap music with their hipping and the hopping and the bipping and the bopping. They don't know what the jazz is about. Bopping and bopping and bopping and the pudding. <laughs> so... I did four, but I want to keep you involved in some things. Remember, everything you see on my wall is for sale except for the Hunter Killer sign. So all that Spider-Man, Venom, um, that Fang, that Pal, Thor, Amazing Spider-Man, the Death of Spider-Man poster even, uh, Death of Superman poster even, that's for sale. That's an original poster. It came with the comic. So, folks, I got all kinds of stuff going on. We got Gene, we got Self, we got all kinds of people. We got a lot of stuff for sale. So let me know if you see something and you want it, call it out to Kevin Mansfield Hines. I'm right here for you. I'm going to kick it back to Henry because he's got some stuff for, for you as well. And we're coming to the end of our show. So I want to make sure we showcase everything we can. All right. Excellent. And speaking of that, Kevin, once you showed those posters, you made me realize something. Mr. Moore is looking to. Uh, fill up his walls with some artwork. Luckily for him, we got him covered. I got some really, really cool uh, prints here for sale. These are limited, so we're almost out of them, and they will come signed to your front door. I have this season shit poster commemorating one of the uh, uh, biggest battles in uh, the series, issue eight, this is a spread on the 36 and 37 pages. It's called the multi-figure spread because you see multiple Eastern Shins uh, cutting through Japanese Ashigaru troops to make his way to the lead commander and um, eventually he takes his head. It's awesome. It's an epic scene. This image was stuck in my head for a full year, um, and L. Arnaclius, our artist, did a phenomenal, phenomenal job of bringing this to life. Um, this print is ready to go, and it is going for the low, low price of just uh, 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. so call it as you see it. We also have this Bruce Lee and Yisun Shin team-up done by Yisun Shin's original artist, Giovanni Timpano. Um, so we got ninjas in the background here. We got Yi and Bruce Lee back-to-back. -back. Um, we go for 15 as well. These posters are both 11 by 17, and they will come signed and numbered by me. 
So, uh, Dave, Mr. Moore, just call it as you see it if you're if you're interested in any of those. Guys, you can call it as well. Um, we also have some other limited edition posters here for you, some Shin, that I want to tell you guys about since we're coming to the end of our show here. Yep. And just a second here. Well, the last one. Okay, we have the Hunter and Destroyer uh, images here, the uh, promo images form. So this is Baron So version where we see Yusum Shin and the reflection of his uh, daggers. So these two characters are going to be showing off, uh, sh sh having a showdown in this final arc here. We're leading up to that. The second poster that goes with it sees Baron So and Yusum Shin Sword. And we have these at all times, so it's not a big deal. I just want to let you know that they exist. Also, 11 by 17, these are going to go for 15 bucks a pop, signed and numbered. Cora, does that answer your question? His artwork is going for $15. Uh, next up, I have um, these Yusum Shin posters, which are signed by both me and L uh, as well. So there's his signature and there's mine. So getting something signed by L is actually kind of difficult because L doesn't really make a lot of convention appearances. And it's hard for me to just send stuff over to him. And he's all the way out in California, so it's kind of hard to work out the logistics. Um, this is still going to go for 15 bucks, though, as is the one queuing poster right here. This is all promo for Fallen Avenger. All of these are going for 15 bucks, And then this sexy gin poster right here is also going for $15. But I got a deal going on right now. If you decide you want to get all the posters, I'm going to knock five bucks off of each one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven posters here. I will do all seven posters for 70 bucks. Fill up your wall, make it look beautiful, give it some e love. Call it as you see it. To victory. To victory. All right. Uh, next up, I have. Kevin, I can't wait to get back to conventions. Me neither, dude. I got so many things. Wait. Can't wait. It'd be glorious. All right. Corey said sold one with both signatures. Awesome. So you want uh, – do you just want the Yisun Shin, uh, Admiral uh, Wan Kun, and Jin? Did you just want these three, or did you want um, the entire set for 70? Let me know. If David you... also wants one with both sigs. Who does? David also wants one with both sigs. Okay, so we're doing two sets of seven, or are we doing one set of – or two sets of three? Let me know, guys. I got uh, you doing. They, they both want a single. Oh, a single? Yes. So they want all seven? A single. Oh, one, a single. A single means one. Oh, okay. Want one with both singles. Okay. All right. Let me know which one you guys want. Just be specific, and I'll, I'll put it aside for you. Nine times. <laughs> all right. I have just <laughs> Moron idiot. I have Justice League <laughs> number seven, Justice League International number seven, number eight, number nine, number 10, 11, 12, and 13. These are all done by J.M. Dimiteus, one of my mentors, one of my writing mentors, and Keith Giffen, really great uh, uh, writer as well. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to do all seven books for just 14 bucks, $2 a pop. $2 a pop. I have Batman Superman, number 26. This issue is written by Jeff Loeb's late son, who passed away, and a number of really talented creators contributed to this story. 27, 28, and 29. We got the Green Lantern Corp here. I'm going to do each of these books for just two bucks a pop. We're looking at eight dollars for the set. Eight dollars for the set. Eight dollars, folks. This is the last part of our show, and he's giving stuff away. I literally am. All right, I'm going to do one more. I have the Conan Saga going for just five bucks. Five bucks on the Conan saga. Boom. 
All right, Kevin, I'm kicking it back to you. Kick it back to me, man. I'm always ready. All right. Yeah, Corey, let me know as well which what you want to do. I'm going to spit these at you guys real quick. GT, baby, 404, recognized with some more. Like that? I just made that rhyme. That's crazy. Oh, you got it. You got it. All the time. That's awesome. Check this out. Secret Invasion, the ASM, being represented by Georgia Tech. B -I <laughs> I got one, two, and three. The Secret Invasion. Check that one out. These are all going for just $10 for all three. That's bollocks, Kevin. Bollocks. I know it is. Let's go. I love, I love, I love that word, bollocks. It's absolutely bollocks. It's rubbish. It's rubbish. bollocks. I like rubbish. Rubbish. I haven't busted this out in a while, but folks, this is some, uh, this is Kirby. This is Genesis. This is the dog, the, the, the big dog, the, the St. Bernard of the world. This one's going for five bucks right here, right now. Kirby Genesis. We representing out here. We doing it big for Georgia Tech. Rest in peace, Mac. Peace, love. Uh, and uh, that's how we're doing it. And you know what? I'm just going to open this new box right here I got right here. I'm just going to open it up, pick out a book, and it's going to be what? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got uh, Cyber Force Zero. And it's literally number zero. This one's going for two bucks. Uh, oh, this is kind of cool. This is book one. This is a Capullo. This is the Creed. This one's going for three dollars. Doom Force number one. Call it as you see it, folks. Doom Force number one. Which one of these heroes dies? I don't know. You tell me after you buy it from Hunter Killer Collectibles. <laughs> and we send it to your door and you sit down on the toilet and start reading it. <laughs> but don't tell anybody you do that. Doom Force number one. This one's going for $4 as well. So call it as you see, folks. We got all kinds of crazy things in the last three minutes of our show. I'm going to put these up there. We got Kirby. We got Strange Academy. We got Bizarro. We got Super Soldier. We got the Defenders, Avengers, She-Hulk, and Incredible Hulk together. We got Star Trek. We got JLA. We got Kirby. We got Marvels. We got all the kinds of crazy deals that you could ever ask for. Um, we have two minutes left, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say thank you so much for watching our show. Big <laughs> shout out to David Moore. Thank you very much for my stuff. Uh, very appreciative, and uh, shout out to your boy. So um, I'm going to put Henri back in the pan. He done split screen. Ah! Ah! He just scared the nothing out of me. So that's good. So, Henri, do you have anything you want to say to these folks? Yeah. Um, Kevin, shut up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Great show tonight, Kevin. Guys, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Uh, we appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for shopping with us. Thank you for uh, letting us be a part of your evening. We love being here with you guys. Um, and I will be back tomorrow, um, I believe, tomorrow for a virtual signing with Andre. It'll be on at uh, 1 p.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Mountain time, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern. I will let you guys know the guests in the morning. I already have the books. I just have to confirm that the guest is coming. Um, I'm in the process of doing that right now, so I'll let you guys know. If not, you will see us back on Wednesday on CBSN at uh, 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain Time, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern. We will be on CBSN. And then in the evening, you can catch me and Kevin again, 5 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Central, and 8 p.m. Eastern. Be on the lookout on our Facebook feed. we got some big news coming this week. Um, big. It's huge, huge news, huge news. But, uh, guys, thank you so much. We appreciate it. It's been a long day, pretty crazy day. Um, Coral, here you go. One last thing. Spin.
You got five dollars off pressing. Awesome. Oh, look at that. Did you press your uh, spawn three hundred for? Ooh, smart idea. Look for at that. No, jungas are working. And uh, oh, cool. and let's see. What did David say? Uh, so thank you, David, for pushing your virtual signings, guys. The virtual signings are for you. So this is an yeah. opportunity for you guys to engage with the guests that we have on there. Uh, and I are totally working together on it. So even though he's not on the show, that doesn't mean he's not a part of it. Um, it's everything is still done through Hunter Killer Collectibles. So when you buy stuff uh, through our virtual signing, uh, you guys actually are just it, it, you can add the books to your uh, to your pile. Um, the creator we have tomorrow is sensational, and we're going to have a lot of fun with them. And uh, if not, I will definitely be, be back on Friday, and I will let you guys know all the details because our big news has something to do with virtual signings So it's pretty, pretty cool. That's all right. right. Keep, keep in mind real quick, Henri, Henri created this, lo, this live signing thing. He's the only one doing it. He's rocking and rolling. And this is your chance to interact with your creators, the people that you're reading. You can get live stuff signed, and you can get limited series on those uh on that shopping show as well signings with Henri, and uh you guys go kick it with him man because he's got some awesome things he's doing awesome thank you kevin i appreciate you saying that brother well done tonight great show everyone thank you so much uh i think it's time for us to close out kevin so everyone i will see you tomorrow i hope if not i'll be i'll be on on the interwebs hit me up anytime if you're hunting for something let me know i'll go out there and see if i can find it for you i will be hitting a comic shop up on Wednesday uh, before our show to check into some things. So um, if you guys are looking for anything, hit me up. Let me know what you're looking for. I'm going to one of the biggest shops in Illinois. I have a collection of over uh, 800,000 comics. So uh, hit us up. Hit us up. Thank you, guys. We love you. Next time.